documentation references. Now before we proceed ahead and start the installation process, I want to take you through a couple of very important documents which I would personally recommend you to refer to, although it is not essential for the installation. So people who follow this course can as well install Oracle eBusiness Suite. The first one I would recommend is the MD120 for Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12.2.4 full installation. This is a document that I have prepared and listed down all the steps that I am explaining you as a part of this course. So if you download this document, then you can simply copy and paste the commands in the terminal while you are installing Oracle eBusiness Suite. Otherwise, you have got to type each command and you have got to listen to these movies to understand the concept and then try it of your own. So the MD120 is like giving you an extra resource for quickly installing Oracle eBusiness Suite 12.2.4. However, you've got to remember that it doesn't come as a part of this course and you've got to purchase it separately and it is a paid document. The place you can download this document is from our website www.aclnz.com. If you go to resources and downloads, within that you will see a category as Oracle Apps DBA. So click on that one and within that the first one is the one I'm just referring to Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12.2.4 full installation. You go to its details and that's where it's going to show you what all has been covered in this document, the environment, including the change history. All right, let's go back to the presentation. The next one I would recommend is the Excel file for the exact software list for Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12.2.4 installation. This is something I have referred to in the previous movie. So you can have that downloaded. So I am referring to this one. So this you can download it from our website www.aclnz.com. Again go back to downloads, look for Oracle Apps DBA category and once you reach here the second one is the software list required for release 12.2.4 installation. This is absolutely free and you can download it anytime. However, you must register on our website and the registration is free. All right, so let's go back. The third one I would recommend you is Oracle eBusiness Suite installation guide. This is something which is provided by Oracle and you can download it from Oracle documentation website which is docs.oracle.com for free of cost. The last one is Oracle support website which is support.oracle.com and using that you can refer to a number of documents in relation to installation of Oracle eBusiness Suite. However, you must have something called as a customer support identifier or a CSI number in order to access Oracle support website. All right, so having said that, let's now go to the next module and do the preparatory steps for installing Oracle eBusiness Suite, which includes installing and configuring Oracle Linux and its kernel and creating the necessary users and directories.